This is a rogue list that someone sent me, and from what I gather, the point of the deck is Missile Launcher plus Plague Scientist. You give your Missile Launcher poisonous and it kills everything that it damages. There's also an infinite stealth combo for the Missile Launcher in the deck. You stealth it with Master of Disguise, you Brewmaster your Master of Disguise back to your hand, and then with your Shadow Reflection from Valir of the Hollow, you Brewmaster your Brewmaster. And of course your Missile Launcher is going to kill your Master of Disguise and Youthful Brewmaster that are on the board. But it has stealth so they probably can't kill it and it's going to kill all their stuff too. So cute little combo, similar to what you can do with Venomizer and Hunter. I am a bit concerned about how we actually win the game though. Seems like we just kind of have a lot of random taunt minions. And they're all like okay. But once we get the Missile Launcher going he's just going to kill all of our taunt minions. So we'll see how things go. What am I expecting? Murloc Mage or Big Spell Mage? I have a shitty enough rank that it could even be some sort of combo duck. Probably shouldn't keep Valera. Could tempo a Brewmaster, but that doesn't seem super relevant. I might use it to bounce an Elven Minstrel or something to draw through my deck. Doesn't look like he should be Murloc Mage at this point. Oops, like the Tar Creeper. So if he is Big Spell Mage, even if I infinitely stealth my Missile Launcher, he can just Flame Strike it. I'm gonna hit with the dagger here. Next turn looks like it could very likely be Tar Creeper Hero Power. Cheng Gang looks like Kalaseth Big Spell Mage. Kill his stuff. And I guess I'll play this guy. I just need to bait, what, six more removal spells, and then my missile launcher will be unkillable. Combo this all the minstrel. Which would grizzly looks like it's gonna be pretty bad this game. I think I want to draw some more cards. I drew these two cards. Well, this is fine. My three twos line up pretty nicely and do his one three. I killed my one of cold blood. Seemed like a weird hit if he doesn't have a way to deal all one damage. I have nine cards in hand. Let's just kill this thing and draw two. Jaina is pretty spooky. I can go like backstab, trade in, and primordial drake. I have so many cards in my hand, but I feel like none of them are really that useful. I guess it's just a primordial drake turn. Could also just give one of my guys poisonous and trade it done. But like, what do I do with the rest of my mana? Fan this guy. I think I'm just gonna play a primordial drake while I have the opportunity. Should be a Meteor, maybe a Polymorph. 
So probably just gonna play a second Primordial Drake here. It's not like it kills much in this matchup. I guess I need to get the damage in. I do have to kill him by, you know, actually killing him. Probably just gonna go for a missile launcher here. Kills two things, good enough. Kills one of my things too, but oh yeah, it's end of turn. Can't hit his face. Yeah, kills one of my things too, but this missile launcher is pretty spooky. It might be enough to get a uh, removal spell out of him. Like, I think this just gets flame struck pretty often here. Yep, there's a flame strike. And an Acolyte of Pain. Okay. Should I try to mill him with this Acolyte? I'm already six cards deeper. But I can even it up to two on his turn. Well, no, because Phantom Knives draws me a card too, huh? I wonder. Might be a good chance to go ahead and play this thing while it actually has some stats. Let's just play some stuff, I guess. I feel like I'm going to have a hard time closing. Pretty big turn out of the opponent. I think I'm going to try to get more out of the second missile launcher. Unfortunately, even if I get the infinite stealth combo in the Missile Launcher, he does still have a second Flame Strike and a second Dragon's Fury. Still a good Missile Launcher. I just don't have the tools left to kill him. Master of Disguise. Unity, precision, so that's going to kill my 4 4 and make a water elemental. I think I'm pretty safe to concede from here, right? The deck just doesn't have a way to win in a matchup like this. So I've played this deck a couple times at this point, and it really feels like it lacks a way to actually win the game. So I think I want to try to make room for a Kingsbane package. Because Kingsbane is a way that you can take advantage of your missile launcher just killing everything over and over again. You can't really win the game through minions when that's happening, right? Because anything that you try to play alongside your poisonous missile launcher just also dies to the missile launcher. So I think the King's Bane package probably makes some sense. So how many cards is the King's Bane package? Two of these, two of these, one of these, two of these. I guess I should play Doomerang. And then at least a couple buff guys, right? So it's actually a pretty heavy package. But to be fair, I do think we are playing quite a few cards that are cuttable. 
I think a lot of these random taunt things just don't make that much sense. Like Primordial Drake is just pretty big and clunky. He'd be cool if you could like pair him with the Plague Scientist in some way and clear everything, but you just can't do that. I generally think that Witchwood Grizzly is kind of a weak card if you're not cheating it out. The Apple Bomb is okay, but I don't think we're going to have room for it. Same with Chain Gang. So, Kingsbane, two of these, two of these. Probably do want two Leeching Poison. Maybe I could get away with playing just one. Same with Doomerang. Pretty good, but maybe I could get away with one. I think Toxicologist is definitely good. So, at the very least, I think I want Green Skin and another Toxicologist. I think the Cold Blood is, like, super out of place. So, we'll go for the second Toxicologist there. And I guess the Eviscerates look a little bit weird, too, huh? So, Green Skin. And then I guess I like second Leeching Poison. No, second Doomerang, I guess. I think Cutthroat Buccaneer is also a card we could keep an eye on. But something I do want to play is Wild Pyromancer. Because Pyromancer is another card you can combo with the Plague Scientist, and I think that seems pretty cool. And I think I do have enough spells to support a Pyromancer. It can also just be pretty good at clearing some boards with Fan and Knives or something like that. It doesn't really look like I have that many slots left, though. Maybe I cut the green skin because it's a bit too big. And I guess maybe I just cut the Tar Creepers. Another Pyromancer, and then maybe that Cutthroat Buccaneer makes some sense. I don't love just having the one of Leeching Poison, but I think this is a decent place for the deck to be for now. Valera versus Jaina. You asked for it. Watch your back. Well, Kingsbane plus Leeching Poison is pretty freaking good. And I guess I'm just going to keep Valera too, assuming he's Jaina Mage. And here come the Murlocs. I actually have a hand that could probably beat Murloc Mage, to be honest. But I'm happy he didn't play a Murloc on one. Alright, definitely big spell mage at this point. Toxicologist lets me kill this. I think I want my next turn to be Backstab Elden Minstrel. And against this mage deck, maybe I want to try to save Toxicologist for post Valera. So many options. I think the big reason to not play it is so I can Elven Minstrel next turn. But I may or may not try to save it for Valera. Okay, he did end up playing something else I could have backstabbed. But it wasn't a given that that would happen. go with the play we intended from last turn. Need a key. Banana knife seems really good here if it goes off. Didn't get counterspelled. I think I want to bounce this Menstrual and draw more cards. Explosive runes, that's fine. I guess I'm going to play my Toxicologist here. I want to combo my Elven Menstrual. I think these other two buff cards I am probably going to try to hold for a few turns, though. Need my King's Bane to be big, because this might go deep into fatigue. So, I think the play here is do nothing. My calculations are flawless. I got a fucking Void Lord? Is that a joke? Well, I want to draw cards with this Elven Minstrel, so I guess I'm going to play a Toxicologist. So next turn can either be Valera 
Yeah, I mean, I guess it's Valera, and then follow up with Missile Launcher Plague Scientist. I do take quite a bit of damage here, but he's a Frostless Shayna deck, I'm not that worried about it. Okay, that's a bummer, but I do have a Shiny Finder. So if I play Valyra here, I am going to overdraw, huh? really don't want to overdraw the King's Bane, so let's just lead with the Missile Launcher combo. I do leave him with enough power on board to just kill the Missile Launcher, unfortunately. But it protects my health total. Wow. That's an inefficient flame strike, but it is probably correct. It's not a good card in the matchup. So let's see, next turn could be Shiny Finder, King's Bane, Double Deadly Poison, Pyro, and Plague Scientist. Could also just vanish this board, huh? Vanish just kills the Sunwalker. Sunwalker is a pain in the ass to kill because of its Divine Shield versus my Pyro and the Missile Launcher. Let's just go ahead and Vanish. And we'll go Shiny Finder and equip the weapon. I don't think he should be playing Double Ooze, but holy shit, I'm gonna feel dumb if he is. That's a good card to overdraw. Although I guess I have ways to kill it. He went for 8 instead of 9. I wonder if that's just good. I really don't know. So, looks like I'm gonna have to go Pyro as the use for my second Plague Scientist here. But that's okay, because Missile Launcher dies pretty easily in this matchup, so it's quite fine. Death's shadow. Do I hit for 7? I don't have that many cards left in my deck, so yeah, I probably do. We're gonna hold this thing, so it can also be Valyra at some point. I think this card should be in my deck. It's good with Missile Launcher, right? And it's just good. Another Pyro play. Let's me break the bubble on this guy. So I could go Pyro, Double Deadly. It's not like super good. What if I just go like Master of Disguise, Double Cutthroat Buccaneer? Alright, it's the second Flame Strike. So do I want to go for Pyro here? I don't even know that I really want to use my weapon. Like, I swung it into a 1-3 last turn, but that, that may have just not been smart. Although I do feel like I need to break through and kill him before he draws Jaina. I've played a Vanish and two of my Poisonous guys, so Water Elementals can definitely lock me out at this point. So I can go like Pyro, Doomerang, kill this.
So I'm out of weapon buffs, but my thing has 13 power, so I think that's fine. Just need to smack him three times and he'll die. Oh god, he's not even in Jaina mode yet. Killing my pyro is dumb. He just plays water elemental? What the fuck? <laughs> Who does that? Well, I guess I'm gonna Doomerang that thing. Do I need to draw a card? It doesn't hurt, right? Because I can't fatigue. I don't think there's much of a reason for me to replay the King's Bane here. I guess he's probably more likely to be playing as Alina than a second ooze. And I can beat second ooze. Can't beat as Alina, probably. The icy winds of will That's fine. I just go hit pass, probably. And then I can vanish through taunts or whatever. He's just dead, right? He goes up to 9, I hit for 13. Even if I needed one more turn, I could just vanish the water elemental, so I still had 26 damage here. Probably keep Fan against Paladin. Might want to go ahead and keep Leeching Poison since I only play one. And Backstab. Probably Toss, assuming he's Odd Paladin. I have Wild Pyro, Second Fan, and Missile Launcher, all of which are probably better. Reporting for duty. Wow. Not even or odd, huh? I guess I'm just gonna smack one of those, probably play fan next turn. Reporting for duty. It's pretty weird that he played Lost in the Jungle, and then since then he's done like nothing else. Lost in the Jungle tends to be a pretty aggressive card. I wonder if he's playing like the Crystal Lion guy. Just good old dude paladin. I guess let's go ahead and get this King's Bane online and put a buff into it. Snake it on, sure. So it does just look like Dude Paladin. Wow, that was the best one he could have gotten by quite a bit. Missile launcher, let's fucking go. I don't have the poisonous guy, but in this matchup, it's just not necessary a lot of times. No more take nice one health minion. For duty. Nice other one health minion. Target. So these go face. Do I want to stealth my missile launcher? On the one hand, there's probably not much reason to, but there's also probably not much reason not to. I guess the reason not to is I can go Leeching Poison Buccaneer and hit him for three. This could be a Vine Cleaver turn actually, right? Hmm. I don't want this to get Vine Cleaved. So yeah, let's stealth it. And... Here we go. I can hit for two or I can choose not to. I kind of like healing. Here we go. I do have the Shiny Finder to pick the weapon up again if I break it. But I also have this Cutthroat Buccaneer in hand. I guess I'll hold the weapon for a turn. I'll think about hitting him next turn. Is my missile launcher getting an equality? Oh, just call to arms. Alright, no knife juggler. 
There's poison. I think I do like the poison. Kills the Imani Berserker. It's gonna kill my 4-4 as well. But killing the Imani seems good. Get a missile launcher. Face, please. Damn. Well, I have Vanish to survive for a turn. We've got two Pyros, a Fan, and another Missile Launcher all in the deck. That's a lot of potentially good draws. Oh man, that's so good. Looks like I do have to swing into the Knife Juggler, which I don't love. But that's fine. I think he has four recruits in his hand. I think he didn't totally deplete the last Dragolch Jailer. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. Reporting for duty. So I can go in here, find the King's Bane Buffett, go in here, I go up to six. He's got a one one in play. Most of his hand is just more 1-1s. One or no, he doesn't have a 1-1 one -one in play. My missile launcher kills it. So I full clear his board. That looks pretty good. I don't want to have to commit the banish if I don't have to. Alright, so we bounce the shiny finder so I can find the King's Bane again in the future. And it, uh. And, uh, the Shiny Finder would have died. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Not too worried about these 1 1s. Report I'm out of range of Vine Cleaver, which he doesn't have mana for anymore. But that was, like, a thing I could have died to. Okay. So, I guess I'm vanishing here. The Vanish is just good, right? Get to save my Missile Launcher and replay it when those things only have one. I guess I go ahead and replay this. Get in there with my King's Bane. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Hopefully he doesn't have another level up. But I do have a turn with Valera. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Ah, second level up. I have a Plague Scientist and a Vanish in the deck. Need to try to find those. So I can kill one. I go up to ten. Can go in here, Missile Launcher. I go to nine, he's showing nine. Can play a Toxicologist first, so I'll be at one. Being at one seems really shitty. So, how about Valera? I guess I do want to go ahead and make this attack. Because, like, if he goes back in, it just kills one of his guys. If he uses one of the others, then it's a missile launcher setup. I think I might be in trouble, though. Unless I find Vanish or Plague Scientist. I guess maybe Doomerang could also be good, because I can find my weapon with Shiny Finder. That guy's pretty scary. Reporting for duty. I'm pretty sure that's just a bad hit. He knows I have the missile launcher in my hand. There's the Vanish. But can I just go King's Bane plus Missile Launcher? My King's Bane has four power, I believe, right? So I go in here, I go up to 16. Missile Launcher kills these, he has eight. Time 
So I could theoretically die to like double Blessing of Kings. I mean, I feel like Blessing of Kings just has to be the- or Vanish just has to be the play, right? I just don't die to anything if I just Vanish here. So I'm definitely playing Missile Launcher. I have 7 damage this turn, so I probably want to clear out one of these guys. I could like smack into Knife Juggler and then Doomerang this guy, but it doesn't deal with this guy. I think it's just Missile Launcher, Double Toxicologist, Kill Knife Juggler. I go up to 20, I can leave him with 7. Fuck that, I should just hit him in the face, right? He can't deal 13 to me. Just set up lethal. He could have Righteous Protector, I've killed both Righteous Protectors. Damn, there's the poisonous guy. Didn't get to pull it off though. I did the poisonous thing once, and it killed two of my things in exchange for an Amani Berserker, so it may have not even been worth it. But the missile launcher on its own carried that game. I've played a good handful of games with the deck now, and I definitely think that the King's Bane package is better for the deck, at least at my rank. I'm Dumpster Legend on like the last day of the season, so there's a ton of like super slow combo and control decks, and King's Bane is just good against those. Maybe all the taunt stuff that was in the deck originally is a lot better if you're queuing into like Zoo and Odd Rogue and stuff like that, but I just wasn't playing against those decks. And I think the taunt build has next to no chance against some slower decks. So I do like the direction I took the deck. A couple of additional changes though. Um, I think Zola has to just be better than a youthful brewmaster. You can still go for Master of Disguise double Zola, and I think Zola is just a better card, right? I would also like to fit a Zilliax in this deck somehow. Not really sure where to make the room for it, but it's really good with Missile Launcher. AoE, Lifesteal, the Zilliax is fairly likely to stick on the board, and you can Magnetic the Missile Launcher onto it, or the other order. Just go like Missile Launcher... Master of Disguise and then Zilliax at next turn or something. And also Zilliax is pretty decent spot removal with Plague Scientist. So I think it definitely makes sense. And I know I just mentioned Master of Disguise, but I think maybe cutting one makes some sense. I really think this whole infinite stealth thing is not that great. I played a lot of games with the deck and never really got to pull it off. Unless I'm just missing something, there's no way to stealth your missile launcher the turn you Plague Scientist it. Or you can go, like, Missile Launcher Master of Disguise, give it stealth, and then Scientist it next turn. But then you have to have, like, a second Master of Disguise to try to infinitely bounce it, and you can't go Double Brew Master, Master of Disguise, and Plague Scientist all in one turn. So as good as the meme is, I think that's just a little bit too unrealistic. And then maybe at this point with only one Master of Disguise we cut the Brew Master, and actually maybe the first Master of Disguise isn't even that good. But if we're not there already, we're getting dangerously close to this just being King's Bane Rogue with a few meme cards thrown in. So I don't think I want to change the deck too much more. I may have already gutted it. But maybe this package is just a good addition to King's Bane Rogue. Rogue doesn't have great AoE, just Vanish, and I guess like Blade Flurry is a card we're cutting for this. So maybe just the Missile Launcher, Plague Scientist, Wild Pyro package is just good in King's Bane Rogue. I'm a bit skeptical, but you know, could be reasonable. <laughs> 